Good evening once again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Wheelchair Football Tonight. I'm Jimmy Anderson. This is the second week of fifth season PWFL action with the Gridiron Gunners going up against the Wheelchair Texans. Gridiron Gunners captained by Kelly Elizondo against L.A. Garrison's Wheelchair Texans. Both first season captains. They played in the league before, so we get the first half highlights right here. Fourth down conversion attempt for the Gunners pretty early in the game, as a matter of fact. Just a few minutes ticked off the clock. This is Christopher Ruppel, who's their starting quarterback. He was subbing in the last game. This is his particular team, however, and an incomplete pass almost picked off by Roberto Santabanez of the wheelchair Texans, who had the ball right here. Chuck Anderson playing quarterback for them, but it is an interception by Joey Tobias, so it's going right back to the Gunners. Tough luck right there. Second down for the Gunners here in red zone territory, and a touchdown right there for the Gunners. Joey Tobias from Christopher Ruppel, 6-0 the score right here as we go right back to the wheelchair Texans and here is a case of deja vu Chuck Anderson playing quarterback once again bad field position LA with a nice block again interception though that's where the deja vu comes in as the Gunners have control of the ball once again and even more deja vu Kelly Elizondo with the snap to Christopher Ruppel and there is the catch from Joey Tobias 12-0 now the score Seems we've got a lot of deja vu in this game as we take a look at the Wheelchair Texans. Another fourth down conversion attempt, but this time it is for the Wheelchair Texans. Chuck Anderson playing quarterback once again. A couple of their teammates are absent, so they're having a bit of trouble. Brad Carroll snaps the ball. Chuck rolling out to the right, and he is tackled. So that means it's going right back to the Gunners. And they're going to gun another touchdown. Christopher Ruppel to, Alan, uh, to uh, Joey Tobias once again. 18-0. As we go back to the wheelchair Texans, we are running out of time here in the first half. So much so that there's only one second. So there's literally only time for this particular play. And this time, Roberto Santabinez is playing quarterback. So he's going to have to try to make something happen. And he's going to have to try to make it happen right now. Regardless of the number of downs. It's in this case, second down in the red zone. There's the pass to Chuck Anderson. It is short. So that means that going into the second half, they trail by three touchdowns. 18-0. Nobody scored an extra point just yet. This is second half highlights now. Watch this particular play. You can't say that wheelchair football is not a rough sport. Chuck Anderson running up the sideline. Nice block there by Roberto, but a spill from Chuck Anderson. He would hurt his elbow. That was incidental contact. No purposeful uh, hurting right there, and he would go out a couple times with an injury, but uh, he was all right. He came right back into the game and gutted it right up the middle, scored a touchdown, almost celebrated, but decided to be sportsmanlike and not do so. 18 to six now the score for the wheelchair Texans as we stay with them here on this next drive. There you see Chris Cantu, son of the late Willie Cantu, holding the down marker. It would be fourth and five right here for the wheelchair Texans. Chuck Anderson playing quarterback. The quarterback they drafted, Hannah Walker, not able to come out. As he rolls out, now he just dumps it behind his back. I'm not sure what he was trying to do. I don't think L.A. could have caught that one even if he was in position. So, again, another turnover on downs. 6-18, still the score. And any time they've been turning it over on downs. In this game, the Gunners have been able to score. And in this case, they're doing it one more time. Look at Christopher Ruppel go. Joey Tobias blocks out Chuck Anderson, the nearest defender. And that makes the score 25 to 6. As we go back to the wheelchair Texans on the next drive of the game, third down for them and about three and a half. Brad Carroll snaps to Chuck Anderson, quick pump fake. He's going to have to roll out. L.A. Garrison, nice block on that side. Watch this. Chuck Anderson throws it. Another pick from Joey Tobias, so it's going right back to the Gunners. Now, you've seen in this game that the Texans have had trouble with fourth down conversion attempts. This time, it would be the Gunners that would have a bit of trouble right there. No catch, and that means it goes back to the Texans. However, Chuck Anderson has been having trouble in this game as quarterback. He's having to roll out, lobs it. Another interception from 
Joey Tobias, as you've been seeing in this game. But in this case, the, we have a difference because Joey Tobias is off to the races and it is a pick six. 33 to six would be the final score of the game. A great, great performance by the Gridiron Gunners. Wheelchair Texans having a bit of trouble. Now, Chuck Anderson, let's take a look at his stats. He threw four interceptions and that meant 19 points for the interceptions. And Joey Tobias was the one that sealed the game on that last interception. Chuck Anderson, one in five, no touchdowns, as we mentioned, four interceptions. So those are the stats. And those are the teams giving each other a bit of congratulations, some great sportsmanship had by everybody on the field. Everybody is out to play and win. And Chuck Anderson checking his arm, it would be okay, but he had to come out a couple times to nurse it. A couple band-aids were put on it, but uh, did not hinder his performance too much. What did hinder the performance of the wheelchair of the Texans, I think, were some of the absences as they were trying to find combinations, but they weren't able to find any that really worked in that particular case, but they tried their best great effort. Next time on Wheelchair Football tonight, we're going to be taking a look at two more teams in the third game of the night. The team Moby Texas Thunder going up against the Megawatts. That should be a great game. Stay tuned for that. Until then, for now, this is Jimmy Anderson signing off for Wheelchair Football tonight in OSM Sports. Bring the pain sports and the visual arts.